Hello, my students. Our subject is Muslim scientists. Are you ready for that subject? Yeah, my teacher. Me too. But this subject is so complicated. I wish we can time travel to pass. Maybe we can. How? Wait and see. And we came. Oh my god. That's great. Yeah! Why don't you introduce yourself, sir? My name is Ibn Sina. I'm a Turkish physician and scientist known as the Doctor of Doctors. My book The Law of Medicine was taught in the West for 600 years. I studied medicine in Bihar. I became a doctor at 19 years old. I succeeded in mathematics, physics, chemistry, astronomy and logic. I discovered the presence of microbes before the microscope was invented. That was magnificent. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to our next scientist. I am LB Rooney. I was born in Uzbekistan and I have been respected as an astronomer since early times. When I was 17, I calculated the latitude of the city where I was born by measuring the distance of the sun. In his work Al Khanunu Single Kotel Masudi I used mathematics to observe the movements of the sun, moon and planets. I have been interested in many areas of science. I defended the idea that the world is turning. I've written works on topics such as solar system, earth science, geography and map construction. I correctly calculated the diameter of the world in 6,339 kilometers. I also argued that the earth revolves around the sun. That was amazing. Thanks! Now let's listen to next. I am Aljaz. I am a famous physicist, mechanic, scientist, trained in the matrices of the R2 principality. I made mechanical inventions in the field of physics using the discipline of geometry. I developed machines and developed their inventions. I used different gears and gears. In engineering, I talked about mechanical driving, watches, water pumps, various types of mechanical tools. I've done some work in mechanical and robotic fields. I have invented automatic water machine, elephant clock, oil lamp clock, stealing robot, table machine, ablution vending machine, pump vending machine and my filling automat, robot, watches, water machines, combination locks, crates, thermos, automatic children's toys, such as the inventor of the 60s and the world's first cybernetic information. That was perfect. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. My name is Abbas Bin Furnas. I'm passionate about what people can fly. At the end of long studies, I made a new discovery and made a device. I put fabric on it and put on wings instead of wings. This flight was largely successful, but the design of the flight team did not have the tail part of the landing was very hard and hurt my back. That was very good. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. My name is Ali Kaskiu. I was born in Samarkand and grew up here. My studies, Kalam, grammar and mathematics, astronomical direction developed. I am an astronomer, mathematician and linguist in the Timur Empire and the Ottoman Empire. I calculated the latitude and longitude of Istanbul. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to our next scientist. I'm Batan. I am from Hiran region of Urfa. I have observed the movements of the sun, the moon and the planets. I'm also interested in mathematics. I'm the first scientist to use sinus, cosine, tangent, cotangent and cosecantine for the first time. The greatest achievement in history is that I measure the one year of sunshine as 365 days, 5 hours, 46 minutes and 24 seconds. Just 1000 years ago, I had a very significant success with only 22 seconds of deviation. I found the trigonometry. That was amazing. Thanks! Now let's listen to next. I'm Ibn Battuta. I was born in Tangier, Morocco. I'm the greatest traveler of the Middle Ages. In 1325, I went to Mecca to fulfill the pilgrimage mission and returned to my hometown only 29 years later. I traveled around a large part of the Islamic world and its surroundings for a period of 29 years and I traveled about 130,000 kilometers from China to Spain. Those countries include Iran, Iraq, Syria, Somalia, Tanzania, Turkey, Crimea, India, China, Spain, 
and there are countries such as Mali. I have collected my impressions and memories that I have gained during my travels on the journey of Ibn Battuta. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. My name is Evlia Selby. I am a Turkish traveler who lived in the 17th century. It was childhood dream to visit and see new places. I traveled to the Ottoman lands for 50 years. I wrote what I saw in my 10 volume work called Sayahat Nam. I received a good education in Istanbul. I have seen and wrote about the adventures I live in, the culture of the people, the lifestyle and the architectural works. My works have been translated into many languages. That was perfect. That was amazing. Thanks! Now let's listen to next. I am Abu Al-Qasim al, al Zahashevi. I'm one of the physicians who lived in Andalusia. Most people know me as the father of surgery. I am known by Westerners as a Balkasis. Today, I have used a number of instruments that I continue to use in the hospitals. I've tried different surgical techniques and have written a 30 volume, comprehensive medical encyclopedia of 50 years of experience. The biggest contribution I made to medicine is undoubtedly the book named Kitab with 30 Titus Reef, which consists of 30 volumes. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. My name is Farabi. After the father of philosophers or after Aristotle, I became known as the second teacher. The encyclopedia I wrote is the world's first encyclopedia. I was born in Farab, Turkestan. Because I am a child who thinks in questions, my father sent me to Baghdad and Sam to study. I divided the sciences into three as mathematics, physics and metaphysics. In particular, I worked in the fields of logic, philosophy and medicine. I've developed drugs for many diseases. I try to be a virtuous person. Because of my success, many universities were given my name. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to our next scientist. I am Ibn Khaldun. In my books I wrote about the roles that economy, politics and religion play on human communities. I have taken a stand against high taxes in the state's competitiveness with private sectors. I formed the basis of modern sociology and economics. I saw that societies are just like people. They are born, they grow up and they die. Really perfect. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to our next scientist. I am Mariam El Usterlebi. I am the daughter of an astrolab master in Aleppo. I learned and developed this profession from my father. At a time when women were very passive in the field of science, I acquired the profession of father and developed myself in the field of astronomy. I measured the height of the celestial bodies by developing an astrolab with a simple format under the conditions of time, helping to accurately determine the times during periods when the clock was not yet widely used. I've made highly advanced astrolab. Thank you so much. Can I asking something? What is Oosterlab? Oosterlab is an astronomical instrument used to solve the problems of the sun and the stars and to solve problems related to time. It is used in mathematical calculations which are necessary for solving many astronomical problems. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's listen to our next scientist. I am Harazmi. I was born in 780 in the city of Karazm in Uzbekistan. I am the greatest man in the history of mathematics. Because I am the founder of algebra and algorithm. I was not only interested in mathematics, but also in astronomy and geography. I'm also the first person in the world to use the zero number and the X unknown. My greatest work is algebra. That was amazing. Thanks! Now let's listen to next. My name is Hazar Fanam at Selby. I flew from Galata Tower to Uskuder. So I made my name as the first person to fly in history. Because I was a curious child, they called me Hazar Fan. For this dream I studied the work of Ismail Sif Harry and Leonardo da Vinci. I discovered that I could use the power of the wind to fly. I made wings that looked like bat wings from a sailcloth. And one day I was able to fly across the Bosphorus. That was very good. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. My name is Ibn Al-Hazm. I pioneer the invention of today's cameras by explaining how our eyes work. I found a way to project a picture into another floor through a small hole in a dark room. This was later called the dark box. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. I am Kadip Selby. I am a Turkish Ottoman scientist who worked on history, geography, bibliography and biography. 
My book his fu single quote Zizunun and Sami single quote El Fanun is very precious. I wrote a geography book with the name Sahanama. This book was reproduced in the printing house of Ibrahim Mutafurika. Translated into many European languages. After that, it became the source of our geography books to be written. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to our next scientist. My name is Ibn Nefis. I am a Syrian physician. I am the first person to describe the structure and function of the lung and blood circulation. I was a doctor of the Egyptian Sultan and one of the most important medical authorities of the Middle Ages. I've also prepared a highly effective 80 volume medical encyclopedia. I was most known for the works he wrote on the function of the heart and lungs. I've revealed that the blood is pumped from the heart to the lung and from there it comes back to the heart. I also identified the function of the heart valves and the function of capillaries with small blood vessels connecting the veins. I was accepted as the second avisna of the Islamic world with my work in anatomy, surgical techniques, ophthalmology and other fields. That was amazing. Thanks! Now let's listen to next. My name is Peri Raz. I am a great Turkish seaman. Due to my successes at sea, I was known as Peri of the Seafarers. I was a captain for many years in the seas where I was a child. I made a map of the world in the 1520s. Most of the techniques I use in the map are still unknown. Based on my experience, I wrote the maritime book. I fought the storms, led the battles. That was very good. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. I am Omar Kale. I am an Iranian poet, philosopher, mathematician and astronomer. I am known for the philosophical poems I have written in more quadratic forms. I am also known for my work in mathematics and astronomy. I'm a very good mathematician. I am the first scientist to use binomial expansion. I became famous with my rebellions because I was so excited about my poetry. My rubai. It is seen that I am wisely and without limits in terms of life and human subjects such as the world, existence, God, state and social organization forms. I also made the Slally calendar. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. I'm Kindy. I am a mathematician, astronomer, geologist, chemist, physician, translator and a talented musician. I took the title of Phil First Islamic Philosopher U because I started a philosophy movement in Islamic society. I was born in Kufa, Iraq. I studied at Beitul Hikmet in Baghdad. I wrote over 360 books and translated several books of Aristotle into Arabic. I'm the first scientist to explain why the sky is blue. One of my most famous books is The Chemistry of Perfume and the other is Jewelry. I'm one of the first inventors to use the musical note. Thanks a lot. Now let's listen to next. I'm Razi. I was born in Ray, Iran. In my youth, I was interested in music, mathematics, astronomy, chemistry, philosophy and medicine. As a result of my interest in medicine, I turned to medical education. In Europe they recognize the name Il Razes. I'm the greatest physician in the Middle Ages. I'm the first to understand the difference between smallpox and measles. I've discovered sulfuric acid and ethanol. I have found that fire is a way the body develops to defend itself. I've written more than 200 books. Among these, the best known are Kitabu El Manshuri Fitib, the book of medicine for Mansur, and Abi Kitabu Single Kotel, A the Furyib, comprehensive book of medicine. That was amazing. Thanks! Now let's listen to next. I'm Ia. I was born in Basra, Iraq, but I spent most of my life in Baghdad. I'd love to tell jokes. I have written more than 200 books. The most famous of these is the seven volume book of animals. In this magnificent encyclopedia, I have dealt with animal communication and imitation motives, social organizations, the intelligence of insects and mammals, and their effects on the environment. I am also the first person to put forward the theory of evolution through the uprising. It was really magnificent. Thank you very much, it was excellent. Yeah my students. Now, time to go. Are you ready? Yes. This is so exciting. Yes we are ready. And we are going. Oh my god. 
That was really magnificent. And we came. This lesson was great. Thanks so much my teacher. Thanks for everything's my teacher. This was unbelievable. Yes, now question time. Who is the Turkish scientist who is known as doctor of doctors and who writes laws of medicine? Ibn Sina. Who is the scientist who measures the Earth's environment and says that the Earth revolves around its own axis and around the Sun? Biruni. Who is the first man to fly from the Galata Tower to Yuskidur? Hazar Ahmed Selby. Who is the scientist who works with the power of water and gravity because of the lack of electricity and who works with elephant water clock, iris with a peacock bird, vending machines to take the ablution? El Cesare. Who is the scientist who wrote the book Yasm the various methods and aspects of medicine I by the Europeans who lived in Andalusia, known as a bull cases? A B single Kotel Kasim El Zeravi. Who is the scientist who invented the camera? Ibn al Hazim. Who is the first human to draw a map of the world? Piri Raz. Who is the first person to describe the structure and function of the lung and blood circulation? Ibn Nafis. Who is the first person to put forward the theory of evolution through rebellion? Kerhiz. Who is the scientist who says that societies are just like humans and say, they are born, grow and die? Ibn Haldun. Who is the first Islamic philosopher, because he initiated the philosopher movement in Islamic society? Kindi. Who is the scientist who understands the difference between smallpox and measles and discovers sulfuric acid, ethanol, and that fire is the way the body develops to defend itself? Crazy. Who is the person who wrote the first geography book? K. Tip Selby. Who is the one who visits the Ottoman lands and collects what he sees in his book? Ilya Selby. Who is the scientist who finds the zero number? Karazmi. Who is a recognized second teacher scientist after Aristo? Farabi. Who is the scientist who makes the razors? Narayam Elus Charabi. Who is the scientist who observes the movements of the sun, moon and planets and measures a solar year with a deviation of just 22 seconds, 1000 years ago? Batani. Who is the scientist who measures the latitude and longitude of Istanbul? Ali Kassa. Who is the first scientist who used the binomial explain, wrote the Rubai and prepared the Slavi calendar? Omer Hayyam. Who was the greatest traveler of the Middle Ages, who set out to Mecca in 1325 to fulfill his pilgrimage mission, returning to his hometown only 29 years later, during which time he traveled about 130,000 kilometers from China to Spain? Ibn I Batuda. Thanks for answers. Bell rang my teacher. All right. See you later, my students. Take care. Thanks, my teacher. You too. See you, my teacher. Goodbye. <laughs>